So if you go to vizhub.com, this is what pops up. It's just an alpha site for now. It doesn't really, it's not totally working, but basically certain things are working. You can say sign up or sign in, at which point you can say, okay, I want to sign in with GitHub. And then now you're signed in and you get this menu here and you can click on create visualization and you can click on start from scratch next and then you're dropped into this IDE environment with multiple files that you can edit. So here's the basic layout of things. We're importing the D3 script and then we're loading our bundle.js which is here. Uh, but this is not the code that you write. The code that you write goes in index.js and you can use ES6 imports like import select from d3-selection and import message from dot slash message. And then we can use the D3 API to select our div with an ID of message and then set the text to be message. But what is the message? Let's take a look at message.js. Here we're using ES6 exports to say, okay, this is my module and this is the message. So if I change this text to say saved, see it updates over there, and then this little indicator says saving and then saved. And then if I refresh the page, this saved content will be presented back. So index.html, we can make an SVG. and then say, inside this SVG, we make a circle. Circle, not circle. And the circle has attributes like CX and CY, which are by default zero, but let's make it so we can see the circle first. I'm gonna get rid of this message. And also, we don't need any JavaScript right now. And I don't know if I like that red background, so I'll just, you know, get rid of that CSS there. And then we can say, okay, our circle has a radius of 10. And we see a little black circle there. Radius of 10 pixels. We can make it 100 pixels. And let's set the CX and CY to position it. CX is, let's say, I don't know, 100. See, that moves it over to the right. And the CY is, uh, let's give that 100 too. There we go. We see that it's sort of getting cut off. That's the typical thing that you see when you don't specify the width or the height of your SVG. So let's say SVG width is uh, 960 and height is, let's say, 500. These dimensions are from blocks.org. I'm just so used to them by now. Huh? It works. Yeah, the UI is open source here. And the idea is that there's a public backlog, which is all the stuff that we're going to work on next. And it's prioritized by the number of thumbs up. So here, four different people gave it a thumbs up. And so when we start to work on stuff, we're going to look at this list and say, okay, what is, uh, what do people really need right now? And then we're, we're going to work on that. So, you know, if the students in the course have some problem or like, you know, everybody really wants search it's going to bubble up to the top of this, this list, and then we'll work on it. And people can give feedback on these GitHub issues, too. We could have conversations like, what am I going to search for? People or visualizations or what? So this list is just, it's just the starter issues, and there's a lot more features that we're going to make. So let's say we want to make a new issue about a profile page. This is how you might do it, and you could say, I like to phrase these as user stories, so you could say, as a casual viewer, I want to be able to see the visualizations that a given person created. And then we can say, submit new issue. And now this is something that we'll keep track of and probably do one day. But this is like what I wanted all along. It's, um, it's a simulation of my Vim environment. See, if I open up Vim, and I open up this tree view on the left. This is how, this is actually my working environment that I use. And so you can open up the files, edit them here, 
Uh, and then I have a roll-up build running watch. And this is the tool that will generate bundle.js every time you edit any of the files. But the problem with the university course is that I don't want to teach people all the stuff that they need to know in order to get this set up on their computer. Because it's like you got to do a million things. Install Vim, install Rollup, install Git, Git pull, you know, learn Git, all that stuff. Like you need to learn how to create a local file server. That's where VizHub is going to help. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be like, okay, you don't need to set up a local development environment at all. But you get all the same benefits like modern ES6 stuff, uh, you know, building this bundle.js. And also it's published. So you could take this link and share it with uh, your friends or, you know, submit it as your homework assignment. And then anyone can just see this code exactly the way you see it. So if I copy this link and open up like an incognito window, this is what someone else would see if you send them the link. So when you send this to somebody else, they could edit it, like make the radius 200. But then you get this message that you must be the owner of the document in order to save it. So ideally you'd want to be able to download these files, but we don't have that yet. So I think I'll create a new issue just to keep track of that. Export files. As a visualization author, I want to be able to export the files of a visualization so that I can run them locally and develop in another environment, like a professional work sort of environment. So there's a lot of stuff to be done, but the basics are there. So uh, try it out.